Hey up guys, Aaron here, and um, I am back in Medieval Engineers, and I'm just running around my castle. I've been doing a bit more work, you can see in the, in the background there, I've been doing some work on a another wall. So this, <laughs> this castle has quite a few walls. Let's, uh, I've also been changing a few things here because uh, they started to collapse, so let's go through the changes. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so, we have like a little fortification outside the gates here. My FPS is starting to suffer now as well. Um, a little bit. I'm still getting 60 FPS, but then I get these little lag spikes and stuff when I land. Um, little fortification out here for when people are coming towards the uh, castle. I've also changed this so it looks a bit more substantial. It's got like more um, struts around the outside to support it and I'm gonna redo the sort of rotational lift in here. I'm gonna redo that. Uh, I've been also working on this um, another ex like another wall that's further outside the castle and we've got these like little wooden you know we've got these uh, the towers and then we've got these walkways that go through and then into the into this bit and then that goes up here and you can go through here and then there's another tower and then you go up these stairs and you go across here and there's another tower another tower and then you go through there and then that's where it ends and it's basically just an extra line of defense I was also messing around with the idea of using the you know, this sort of a wall design because it does look a lot better than just using a, a plain old wall like that. Um, so this fort's just getting more and more defensive, really. Um, all the way down here, so it basically just you could sneak through that way and make your way up there, I suppose. So I could probably block that up a bit. Let's see. Oh, it's because I've got those there, isn't it? There we go, that'll, that'll be okay. And... Yep, so now the only real way up into this castle is either up over this ma this hill bit here or around the outside there. But it is fairly well defended from at least at one sort of a few sides. So they could... They could come over this way and attack from the top but it's not exactly easy access because of the terrain it's quite bumpy and mountainous and uh, I might I might eventually put a big tower here and a wall going straight up the mountain and I'm gonna build like a, a beacon on the top of the mountain at some point I've got my keep that I've built there so it's a bit of a it's just like a big room basically and I've also got this uh, I think you've seen the you've seen the bridge to the tower and then I've also got this one which is like a separated bridge to another tower in the middle that nobody can get access to um, just mainly that's just for decoration really um, I've also added um, another little tower here uh, which is underneath which is near the cargo lift area so it's just more defended people are going to be you know, that's kind of a weak point. People could smuggle something into the castle. This is just to defend it. It's more like a guard station or a sort of guard post or something. And I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I think it's. I think the castle's starting to look pretty good. I'll just zoom out a bit. So there is quite a lot going on there. Uh, I've seen a few other people's castle designs. There's like this, was it the Hammer of Poland or something. And that looks pretty cool as well. Although a lot of their stuff is like just big walls and uh, lots of open, there's quite a lot of open space while mine's got very little open space and it's all little things all over the place and, and I've gone for this big wall design on the outside. I might actually have to build something down here as well. Ideally you want a castle which is completely surrounded by walls so nobody can get access to it but uh, I'm pretty happy with this so far. And I'm just having fun, basically. I'm just having fun playing the game, building stuff. Uh, this is currently with structural integrity turned off because I've started getting um, 
quite bad frame drops and sp lag spikes and on top of that parts of the castle over here start collapsing and then it sort of shock waves through the whole castle like this and bits start falling off and then these start falling down uh, and it I actually um, I, I, uh, I created a copy of the save file and made, it turned structural integrity on and then I uh, logged you know I loaded it up and I, I just left it for about half an hour and when I came back it was still it was still uh, I was getting like I don't know 15 frames a second and lag spikes and everything was still breaking very slowly breaking apart uh, but yet yeah, before the patch where they changed structural integrity the castle worked fine so at the moment this is just mainly you know it's like an aesthetic thing I like I like how it looks and I enjoy building whether it's structurally sound or not I would prefer building with structural integrity on because then you have to build within the restrictions applied by structural integrity so you can't just go oh, I'm gonna build a big tower well no you know you can't because one the building won't be strong enough to support all that weight the foundations will probably crack and it would also be uh, what's the word it's just if you thought if you think about back in those days they wouldn't have wasted that much stone on just building a big tower resources aren't you know abundant you know it's a lot of work to make a castle so you make one that is you make it efficient don't you, you don't just build the biggest thing cause why not I mean I suppose the Egyptians did that with the pyramids but they went through a, a few thousand thousands and thousands of uh, slaves to get that built um, but yeah, so this is what my, this is how my castle is developing. So that's kind of like the old fort part, and I've been building this big wall, and I've got this dock. It's almost like a dock, I suppose, like a pier sticking out into the uh, into the air, and that'll be the way that the people can get up here. Uh, I was planning on extending this bit out here, so I've got this um, pub or bar or whatever you want to call it, pub really, and it's pub. And I was going to set up some market stalls, maybe either here or there. But I'm going to have to flatten the land. I don't, I don't know whether I don't really want to do any terrain deforming. I don't mind. I wouldn't mind doing it if it was in the game as a function, not like voxel hands, because the voxel hands I don't think give you very good results unless you spend a lot of time on it. And even then, it's not as realistic as the surrounding landscapes. You can always tell when somebody's done something by hand. Unless this was done by hand, in which case, wow, that's pretty good. Pretty good. So yeah, sorry about no videos yesterday. Unfortunately, I am I am sort of really stuck at work at the moment. Um, doing a lot of extra shifts, and on top of that, I'm also doing a lot of extra hours on those shifts. So I start work, you know, I get up early, I start work, I come home really late, and I go straight to bed, and then I get up and start work really early. And then I come home and I go straight to bed, and that's the way it's been going. So, although today my uh, car broke down, so uh, I figured I'll get a video done and I'll post it while I've got to, while I've got a bit of time. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on with me. And today, Medieval Engineers is being brought out this afternoon. Yay! Everybody can play it. Woohoo! I wonder if they're going to bring out an update with it as well, because it'd be nice if they. Uh, if they bring out another update or something like, I don't know, ropes, a fix for the ropes, please, or something, I don't know. Multiplayer? No, I'm joking, that's probably a little while off, because it's, uh, that's a big, 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 big task. But. So I, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy this just a little update video on what's going on with the castle and what's going on with me, sort of, a little bit. Um, and, uh, yeah, ah. Uh, it's going to be for people who are watching these video, this videos, or these videos, this videos. What? No. What? Um, for, for people who've been watching the videos that I've been putting out, uh, and and actually haven't got the game, you're gonna love it. It is so good, considering considering it's still really really early. I've probably spent more time now and built more things in this game than I have in Space Engineers. And it's just awesome, I just want to keep building. 
I'm still trying to work out how to make this look less sort of blank, bland, empty. Um, but yeah, that's. Yeah. Anyway, um, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and uh, I hope you enjoy Medieval Engineers if you uh, do intend to purchase the early access on Steam. And um, yeah, it's today. I don't, I don't, I can't remember what time it is because, to be honest, I've not looked at that page for a while because um, I've been too busy with work. So yeah, uh, I hope you enjoy this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.